Fine. Under one condition. What? Once you're done with him, you give Hamra to us. <laughs> Gladly. What, no witty comeback? I think that's a first for you. Shut it. All right, well, that was it to chapter 10? I thought there's only like 11 chapters. Okay. We're on the last chapter already? AD9's dark human experiments. The mole who facilitated them. As Yagami gets closer to the truth, the trap is sprung. Details come at the cost of Kaito's blood. And each word that Hamura, the Matsugane family captain, speaks pulls back the veil a little further. Chapter 11, Curtain Call. It seems like a short-ass game. I mean, I played it for 35 hours, but what about all the side content that I want to do? Is it opened up now? Very really late in the game. This is as good a spot as any. You need any instruments. You just ask me. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Now, I think it's about time we got some answers. And you're gonna give them to us. Should we take it from the top? First off, the one in control of all this is Shono, the 89 researcher. How long have you been working for him? Murdering for him. I already have a pretty good idea. How about I guess? <laughs> First time you used the mole was. Okay, now we're gonna thingy me. Okay. <sighs> the Coral Clan murders? No, it's Shinati's murder one. He was the first to die. Oh no, Waku's. No, wait. No, Waku was the man in the thing. Not then. Emmy's murder. Maybe. I think it was him. Hakashi. Because Shinati was later on. I'm going to go with this one. The vice director of the ADDC. He got beat to death six months ago, as you well know. <laughs> Hashiki had a secret deal with Chairman Kajihira. Together, they were going to poke holes in this 89 business and bring the ADDC to its knees. But Shono researcher in charge of the drug had a big secret he needed to keep hidden. Hashki's little investigation posed a big problem. That is, until he got beaten down in the back streets of Kamarocha. Hashki was fatally wounded by the mole and survived for another three weeks. That kept suspicion off Shono and left practically no evidence. Only the most skilled killer could pull something like that off. In other words, the assassin you and Shono have been using. <laughs> Think you struck a nerve. You're a real crack detective, Yagami. You know, I personally funded his time at law school. He never would have passed the bar without me. No shit? I'd say you made a good investment. Paying off in spades. Uh, do you mind? You're kind of in the middle of something here. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, now what? Question him, okay. Oh, can we do an upgrade on the questions? Uh, oh, we've got a thousand now. Oh, we haven't got 18,000. Um, with the special thing. Is it questions? What was it? Detective Hunch. I don't know, that's just search mode. And open doors. Uh, that's that. Good hands, okay. That's that. Mental momentum, what's this? Additional five seconds, photo op, oh, that's garbage. Eh, it's fine, nothing really... Now really better help us. Let's extract. 
Yeah, that's about it. Whatever. Okay, continue to question him. Where's the mole right now? Hold on, wait there. Why would we quit? Yeah, whatever. So, where's your friend? No clue. Soon enough. All three of you are dead where you stand. He says the mole's on his way here. Oh, is he now? I'd love to have a chat with the lad. Keep dreaming, pal. He'd wipe the floor with your backcountry ass. Enough, Hamra. Tell us who the mole is and how you started working with him. Have those instruments handy? Coming right up. Oh, Jesus. All right, I'll talk. That's almost a shame. I like when it's tool time. Now, <laughs> who is the mole? At first, he was just an informant feeding off the chaos that breeds in Camarucho like flies. An informant? Yep, and he was trained by one of the best in the business. Rose to prominence after the cops busted his mentor. And that made the mole the top guy in the biz. One of those situations where the student surpassed the master. Nobody could beat his intel. Could get his hands on anything you needed to. Guns, forged documents, you name it. Before long, we'd formed a nice little partnership. Started making a name for ourselves. Thinking about it, it's been about 20 years now. Jesus. Keep talking, or it's tools. So it's been a while since they've been involved with each other, but since they've been like doing the killing aspect, this has only been started to use them that way. Interesting. I would have said it's Ayub, but Ayub's too old. You know what I mean? Um, but then again, if it was 20 years ago, but then again, the crimes have not been happening like that. And he's been in custody for a while, so... I don't think it's him. Once I got the gig as captain of the Matsugane family, I started relying on him even more. Let me tell you, the guy could dispose of a corpse like it was the easiest damn thing in the world. He had nerves of steel. And he's never even sworn up. Flash forward to a couple years ago, he said he was ready to start doing hits. That's when my... <laughs> Big chance finally came. So it was the mole who brought assassins to the table. Assassinations to the table. But doing it before, but then he offered that. He said, now I'm ready to do this. Interesting. So he um, pushed these skills further ahead or elevated. Who's the real Yakuza here? Honestly, I wasn't that big on the whole murder thing. But the dangerous shit's what really brings in the cash. So, I started touting his services around the darker side of Kamaroto. <laughs> Felt like I added a new dish to my menu. This is no time for jokes, you fool. What, you don't approve of my methods? This city will swallow you whole if you don't got the cash. And protecting the family name doesn't come cheap. <sighs> you think Kaido could have toughed it out with all his swagger? We'd have vanished by now. But with enough money, who knows? We could have rode it to the top of the Tojo clan. So he was selling the mole's um, talents, as it were, and getting paid off the back end, and that's how he was supporting the clan? Makes Isn't sense. That always part of the dream, boss. It was, yes. But not anymore. Ah. Uh, that's so. <laughs> That's funny, because I spent my entire life chasing that dream for you. The goal you fucking told me to strive for! Let's get back on topic, shall we? Tell me this. You started shopping the mole services around. What then? What happened? <sighs> Wasn't long till we got our first hit. 
Our mark was Hashki, Vice Director of the ADDC. And Shono's the one who hired you? So I heard. He always contacted me through someone else. I see, so there was a middleman that contacted the Comatro Yakuza to the ADC. Was that, um... Shido? That guy? Nah, he's a political person. Or maybe it was one of the one of the girls. Um, maybe that that scientist woman that works there with him. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I wonder who that could be. We're looking for a middleman now. Guy by the name of Ishimatsu. Short little guy. Always had this creepy fucking smile on his face. At the time, we all thought this was going to be a one-off. Didn't do much prying, you know. Never even knew why they wanted the guy dead. We just took the 10 mil and did what we were asked. They wanted him to die discreetly though, right? Pretty much. So he did. Ishimatsu took a real shine to us after that. A few months later, he was back with another job. And that was? Well... Gathering test subjects for their 89 experiments. And disposing of the bodies. Jesus. I missed who was a middle man. So I won't lie. you just want me to abduct these Curie guys? You don't want them dead? That is correct. And your reward... is a hundred million yen. Okay, so let, give me one second here because we have to do something. So, the original job for the hit was 10 million yen. I want to see what that is in pounds. Because I cannot remember, so hold on. <sighs> 10 million yen in pounds. That would be 55 grand for a hit. Now they're saying here for the abduction or the murder of X, Y, Z people, a hundred million yen each. That's crazy. A hundred million yen in pounds. The answer is five hundred and fifty thousand one hundred pounds. Five hundred and fifty grand each. That is insane amount of level of money there. Okay, continue. <laughs> Real funny. Last time it was ten for a hit job. Why give us so much more to kidnap a few guys? <laughs> Funny you should ask that. It could very well end up being more than just a few guys. We're not quite sure how many we might want. Perhaps just one. Or maybe ten might not be satisfactory. Ten, huh? The key point is, we expect this to be a long-term partnership. Given the sensitive nature of this task, naturally we expect the utmost secrecy. I sincerely hope this 100 million conveys the importance of that. What about the Cure? That's how he's able to bankroll. What happens to them, huh? It's unfortunately likely that they'll end up dead. Excuse me if this is presumptuous, but considering the amount I'm offering, would that also cover the body disposal? Or would that, uh, cost extra? Drop the fucking act, asshole! <sighs> Where are you getting that kind of money, huh? A hundred mil just to kill one goddamn Yakuza? <laughs> I actually never said you needed to kill anyone. I only requested that you bring them to us. And then... You would just dispose of the evidence. Duh. I don't see where this is going. You think the Yakuza are your tool? You don't understand. My only role is delivering the message. My employer, he's the root of all of this. And you have no idea how many billions of yen he has to ensure his objectives are achieved. What? If you pull that trigger right now, who knows how decisive the retribution might be. Those billions could instead be shifted toward erasing you. What was that? Just think about it. How long will you be able to survive? 
Use your head, Captain Hamura. Hmm. There's no escape. Once you agreed to meet with me today, you all but guaranteed your participation and your compliance. So I strongly suggest you put the gun away. Does that make sense? So he's trapped. He had no choice but to do it, really. Interesting plot. Hmm. <clears throat> now you know the secret. We don't want people out there knowing that. They will get rid of you if you disagree or disobey. You guys are seriously that big, huh? Tell me more. Talk. Allow me to answer your question. It's true that we have access to vast amounts of money, yes. But we're not the violent organization you think we are. Oh yeah? Who are you? Ishimatsu Superior. The name's Ichinose. The only reason I'm choosing to show you my face is because I've decided to trust you. And because I want you to understand how far we're willing to go to bring our plan to fruition. My name's Shono, Captain. I'm currently researching a brand new drug called AD-9. A drug that could very well save Japan. Or, or, or maybe even the world if... A new drug, huh? Where do I come in? The reality of the situation is, we are under intense pressure to complete our work on AD-9 expediently. To that end, Hamura-san, we'd like to ask for your assistance. Ichinose. So the Ministry of Health is in on this too. It goes all the way up. So the government is now, a, I'm not surprised by this at all. That's why I, accept, I thought it was, I think Shido, the ministry or whatever, I can't remember. Well, he's the Ministry of Health. Okay, I thought it was it was the other dude. Okay, my mistake. But uh, yeah, the government is involved. So they're basically like, I mean, the Ministry of Health is like in the uh, Department of Government. So, and there's back backroom deals being done. So they outsourced it. <sighs> the government can't be seen to be uh you know doing various things providing arms for certain countries so they bring an outsider in to do it for them on the back end it, it's it's what happens so yeah I, I can very much believe this is real in that respect and um i find it interesting how he he was listening to what was going on kind of found find it a bit weird then all these guys came in nerds official looking people and kind of cemented it in for him like this is real we're offering you this money we are part of the government. This money is legit. And you're going to be a part of it. And that's into a corner. So he kind of had to do it in the end anyway. It's a simple enough job. Uh, but very interesting. So it does go right to the top. And like I said, it's a branch of government doing it specifically. Maybe it does. Are you familiar with the Medical Institute? The Medical Institute, that's the organization that runs the ADDC. Yeah. It's home the ADDC, and it makes a comfy place for all the health ministry execs to go retire. Well, I it bet. just so happens that the guy who founded it 20 years ago was none other than Ichinose. He rode that success all the way up to vice minister. In other words, his whole legacy's riding on the ADDC. AD9's got to come out on top for him to stay on top. Ah. And he's willing to murder to make sure that happens? Yep. Ichinose is not the only one profiting either. There are of tons not. of parties involved, all being this much cash or that favor. If people have to die for AD9 succeed, so be it. A small price to pay for, um,. For the money that's being fingered. The government have big money anyway. So all the profit that's going to come in from the AD9 success. And the, the uh, Japan wreaking the rewards of. Oh my god you've done this for Alzheimer's world. Where now gives the country respect as well. Um, interesting. A question further then. Why did you pick Kairo Clan Yakuza as test subjects? Probably because they're thugs. Maybe they're causing problems in society. 
Um, that's what I suspect. So they're like, well, these people are low lives. Who's going to report them missing? They die all the time. Here's why'd you go after Curie guys for the experiments? Just following Shono's orders. Shono told you to? Yep. He said there was a chance of the subject dying when we gave him the AD9. Now, if regular old civilians started disappearing, that'd make the news in no time. Yeah. But nobody'd notice a few miss out during a turf war. Agreed. Only natural there'd be some casualties, yeah? I guess so. So, yeah, in respect, and I'm sorry to keep pausing it, but just to throw my two cents in there with that. But basically, uh, X amount of people started dying in the UK last year. This has nothing to do with the the virus, but they started dying at a certain rate. And normally we have just a thousand, week, thousand deaths a week in the UK. For some reason, it was 2000 plus. So the government investigated uh, why we're seeing an, a mass increase, a double of increase of deaths in the current climate. What's happening? Can we investigate? So they do do that. So, like I said, Yakuza, low life. Who's going to report them? Back alley drug deal went wrong. You know, a f bar fight. Who's going to report it? They don't report if they get injured. The, the back alley doctor. You know, finding bodies in landfills, getting rid of each other. No one cares about them. That wasn't the only reason, though. Shono said <laughs> he didn't want to perform dangerous experiments. Yeah, you go. With innocent civilians. Yeah, use a use low lights. <laughs> the Kajihira group was the one trying to shut down the ADDC to begin with. Oh, okay. The were Kajihira's lapdogs. Ah, uh, makes of sense. Thugs didn't weigh on him too much. But don't shoot the messenger. Shono's the one who said it. You'll keep talking if you know what's good for you. Unless you want to go back to the hard way, I'm all for it. What else could you possibly want to know? Actually, I've got one more thing. Oh yeah? You made it sound earlier like you weren't that involved in the killings. But that's not the whole truth, is it? In fact, I have something that shows you actively helped carry out the Kyore killings. The proof that Hamura took part in the attacking killer is... <sighs> well, I don't even know. A camera installed at the club's entrance of broken doesn't seem to fudge. Uh, hold on. A brain trauma resulting from the stab wound through the eye. The murder weapon. Uh, ice pick. I'm not too sure. Hold on. Body shine turns salt. Yeah, salted while still alive. Come this time of death thought to be. Yeah, maybe it's that. I don't know. Hold on. I don't know. And this we just go for it. Security camera. Is that it? Take a look at this. Okay, so about how the owner of Amur and your men left the club on the night of Kume's murder. Your point being. Hmm? Uh, actually, uh, hold on a sec. Oh, uh, the hell are you doing? Uh, now then. Okay. I have something that shows you actively helped carry out the cure. So it's not that. It's... Um. That one? I don't know. I'll go for it. <laughs> Check this out. Look familiar? It's camera footage of you abducting Kume. So tell me, why'd you take the fall? They even got your face on tape. You're not usually that sloppy. Hmm. <laughs> Answer me. That was right after we axed two Curie guys one after another. They started catching on. Wouldn't go around town alone anymore. Keep going. When your mark's that on guard, nobody's laying a hand on him. Not even a trained assassin. So the mole needed a hand. Someone he could trust to get the ball rolling. And that someone was me. So what happened after you left Amor? My guy took Kume out the back. 
loaded him in the trunk of a car, took him to Shono, just like all the other AD-9 tests. To the ADDC? No, not the center. I'm not sure where it is exactly. Some place Shono and Mole set up. So they carried out their human experiments in some kind of secret lab? Suppose they did. Well, then why'd they need to gouge the eyes out? No clue. He never told me. Maybe he wanted to make it look like a Yakuza killing. <laughs> or maybe the mole's just into some sick shit. That makes sense. Hmm, interesting stuff. Next up, he's gonna keep questioning him anyway. Shinai. But you guys still used him as an AD9 test subject. Or was there some other reason you had him killed? Yeah, because he was getting close. That's why I fingered him. That was my fault. Huh? When we took care of Kume, I was the one on the hook for it. Let me tell you, ending up in the slammer for a murder you didn't do is scary shit. Made me think, wouldn't hurt to have some insurance. Insurance? Talked to Shintani before the trial, and told him this. If the pieces fall into place and I hang for this, look into Shono at the ADDC. So you told him about the deal you made with Ichinose? Not exactly. Shono was the only name I mentioned. But if anyone found out I spilled the beans to Shintani, well... I'd be betraying the... So you had to have him killed. You were trying to protect yourself. Only go digging if shit really hits the fan. Why did he call Shono if he knew it was that important to you? Why'd he start digging it up? Me? Got a pretty good theory, though. You wanna hear? Yeah, do tell. My guess? He didn't want to let you hog all the glory. Huh? He might have won my trial, but you're the one who found the key evidence. Shintani got recognition, sure, but it was only by association. Nobody said it, but they all knew. You did the real work. But even then, you didn't stop trying to show up the poor guy. Right when the trial came to a close, there you were, hunting the real killer down. How do you think Shintani felt, sitting around waiting for you to stumble onto the truth? <laughs> Can't imagine he was sleeping well. <laughs> you might as well let this mole shit go. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do you? Come on! The mole is way bigger than you know. Shintani wanted to find the truth before you did. Wanted to earn his time in the sun. And that's why he called the ADDC? To investigate the killings himself? I see, that's yeah. my theory. Can't back it up, though. Either way, the end result was the same. Ichinose found out Shintani was trying to get in touch with Shono. Signed his own death sentence. I'm sure it was plain as day that I was the guy who put him on the right trail. So, Ichinose is the one who gave Yulda, so, I see. I had no choice but to silence Shintani. I even paid for the job out of my own pocket. And yeah, you would have been in trouble. Fall guy, we picked Ayabe. First, we got his gun. The mole was the one who used it to kill Shintani. He replaced the one bullet he fired, got rid of any traces that he used it, and put it back in Ayabe's holster. That meant that the bullet found in the body would have the rifling marks from his gun. Which meant it was an unshakable fact that Shintani was shot with Ayabe's weapon. Face it, Ayabe's alibi isn't going to hold water. The guy doesn't even remember who attacked him? Right. Nobody will buy that. Never. Fair enough. Although, what if we caught the mole and then forced you to testify in the trial? Hmm. <laughs> 
was then? What's wrong? It smells like something's burning. What? <laughs> burning the building down. <laughs> My boys must have finally decided to show up. You really want to meet them all? Now's your chance. Lots of gunny, son. We gotta go. You too. Get up. Interesting stuff we found out, though. I'm gonna go ahead and suggest you let me walk away, boss. If I give the order, the family will fall back. At least then you'd live. Isn't that what you want? That's enough! If this Ministry of Health business is true, you're nothing more than a pawn to them. From where they stand, I'm sure you could be replaced. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. You're an idiot, Hamura. Huh? Come on. Yeah, of course they can replace him. They've got so much money. And he knows all the information. They can kill him and replace him with someone else. The, the plan dies with him. We know now, but other than that, it would have died with him. They went and started a fire downstairs. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Captain! Oh, Marase. How many they got? <laughs> Captain! You idiot. He had a bomb on him. That's some new this level of shit. So fucking dead! Hey, how did you pull off turning my family into goddamn terrorists? Okay, hold on. We gotta go, Matsugane son. Right, leave Hamura to me. <laughs> Jesus. Stand there! Help me, you fucks! Talk. <laughs> Do whatever you can to keep them away from us. Got it. Okay, protect Masagane. During the battle, enemies will attack this guy in attempt to help her away. If it, yeah, health runs out, it'll be the end. The way your surroundings. Okay, so what I'm thinking right now is I want to cut the video, switch, and then. I might even have, I'm going to have to have some health and then I'll continue and add it on I just want to save this footage right now uh, while it's you know still good I'll reset the car catcher just to make sure everything's smooth sailing and then I add the next section on I may just make the next chapter of a whole segment and it might be a shorter video beforehand so I don't know like a 25 30 minute video one day and then the rest of it after the next chapter continues straight on into this chapter so I don't know what I'll decide but uh, either way I've got to continue onwards anyway it's really interesting we found out everything we need to know at this point we just don't know who the mold is and we may see him in this video we may not um, but it's interesting I think it's going to continue because we've got lots of side content to do um, so yeah but oh man what a key video for us uh, in this playthrough thus far Alright guys, technically based on the fact that I've broken this video up, or should have, we should be 30 minutes into this uh, particular video uh, now. I had to stop it, I want to save the footage, make sure it's nice and secure, it is, and I've broken it up at, at least at this point I think. So right now we have to protect um, Hamaru, um, or Masagasi or whatever, the guy who's like got Hamaru under hostage. But the problem is, we have not got a lot of health, but we've got 10,000 now. We still 8,000 off our thing, what we want to do. Boost attack max. Um, but whatever. Okay, so we can use the health pack. But 
I'm kind of tempted to do that. I won't even lie. Let's see what we got. Three out of six, four. Okay, we got. We can use one. It's annoying. But whatever. Well, let's just do it. Uh, I don't know about all this stuff. I'll leave it for now. Uh, and then we drop rates. Oh, that's luck extract. Die hard extract. Oh, for really recover your health. Whatever. We just battle on. See what happens. See what happens. Oh man, there's a lot of them. We ain't got no backup. There's not like two. It is what it is. We get rid of them as quickly as we can. Oh, he's on fire. Right? No? Yeah, that's, that's good. Damn. Wait, uh, what? There's more of them. Fat boy. Any more? Not doing too badly. I want to get a weapon. There we go. Wait, are they gonna finger me? Yeah. <sighs> really? I suck at this. I have no idea. Oh, I suck at this. Come on. Perfect. There we are. Alright. Really? I got. Triangle. Stupid thing. Shit. Oh, I suck. Uh, it. Uh, Why am I bad? That'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Get into the fire, dude. There's a bunch of chairs here. Oh, here we go. Protecting you ain't been so bad. Bit of the truth. <laughs> oh, supposed to go through this way. Hold on. Damn, hot stuff coming for a hot. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, it is hot. Shit. Yeah, I'm burning. I know. Oh, I suck at this. Shit. This does suck. Why am I bad? Shit. Is it changing each time? Oh, I suck at this. Stupid Come thing. Wait, hold on. Is that key? Perfect. There we go. It told us. Well, we're going down because of this stupid um, fire. The hell? I'll handle this. Stay back. 
I'm gonna tear you apart. Who are you again, dude? Oh. Lieutenant. I don't know who this dude is. I haven't seen him before. Hmm. We've got plenty of stuff to play with. Um. Let's do that. Hmm. I don't know if I'll be able to instant kill him, but. Let's do that. Oh, I see. That's pretty good. So you can get him down to this thing if you use it. Okay. Pretty cool. I like that. I feel like I used it like too early, but I could have used it in another battle. But whatever. Not so fast. It only lasts for so many seconds, right? Damn. I need a weapon really for this dude. Can we get in here? No, we can't. Okay, he's beating the crap out of me. Yeah, he's in the crap out of me. Not good. Um. Don't really want to depend too much on these bloody things. But. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just go. Damn. Come on. Come on. Oh. Again. This is bad. I cannot. There we are. Beat him finally. Couldn't pick up a weapon or anything. Damn, he's been having his ass kicked. Captain, you okay? Matsugari-san? Oh shit, here we go. Yo, I'm gonna need all my stuff now. I forgot about the mole. Who is this dude? Oh fuck. Is that... Is that the mole? Don't! Damn, he took the shots for him. Hold on. What the fuck, man? Bro, did that much. That much ammo. Oh. Piss us! 
asshole! You kill him anyway. You take the shot. Yeah, I knew it. Motherfucker! Boss, why, why did you? After all I did. <sighs> so that was the ball, right? I would have done the the same if I was him. Yeah, you knew he knew too much. I wish I wasn't right. You're too damn soft. You didn't. You didn't have to protect me. When I heard what you said, I knew you were right. This is all my fault. No, it's not. I wasn't very good at the business side. And because of that, you had to protect the family by crossing the line. <clears throat> there were signs, of course. I wasn't ignorant. I looked the other way. And just never asked where the money came from. It was easier that way. I'm not going to <clears throat> blame you for, for all of that. Yeah. You just did what you had to. I'm sorry. No, not like this. Don't go. I wanted to. I wanted to. to make up for. It was the, the only way. You old fool. You didn't need to go that far. I only did what any father would have. Masagane san! Just hold on. Doc, my boy. This is it for me. Hurry and get out. Not without you. Let's go. Jesus. Mola's Kuba. Who? Now you know the truth. Kuroi was the one you want. What? I don't recognize the name. But we have a name. But the mole obviously was going to kill Hamura because he knew the name, he knew who he was. He was evidence. I really thought we was going to fight the mole right there and then. But now we have a name. And Patriarch Matsugane? He... He didn't make it. Oh no. Kuroiwa. Huh? Did you say something? Kuroiwa. Back at the center Him? of the crime scene, eh, Yagami? What the hell are you doing here? Yagami-kun, what's going on? Don't fret, Fujisan. We just need to have a little chat at the station. No. He needs to get to a hospital. He looks fine to me. I'll watch after him otherwise. Are you a doctor now? He needs professional attention. Enough protesting. He'll be just fine with me. He's a prosecutor, right? She's a prosecutor. He's a fellow prosecutor, I believe. You don't even have a reason. It's okay. No, he's a cop. I'm sure. I'll he's a cop, right? 
He's the one that tried to have me arrested before. To have me brought in for quite. So he's the bastard. I can't believe it. He's got the skills to fight and kill. Huh, Yagami? Doesn't seem like it's ending anytime soon. Could you at least take these off? Or am I gonna get booked? Afraid I can't. Wouldn't you know, someone went and lost the key. Hamura told me everything. Okay, so you've already played your hand right now, telling him, saying you've you know it's him. Now, in my opinion, he's got the cuffs on. I don't know if there's a camera involved in the room. Uh, at this point, I would say, assuming it's turned off, he could kill me with whatever, the pen, a gun, whatever, and say that I attacked him and he had to defend himself and then I'm, I'm gone, it's over. This dies with me. Because Hamaru may be alive, but he'd get Hamaru later on. Um, at this point, we know all the, the things we need to know. The, the boss is dead, the main one of the family. If he kills me here in jail, I'm gone. And then Hamaru would be next, just a matter of time before he gets him. Just, you know, have uh, the police like on a bogus charge. Follow, find him, try and find him, look for him. And it's a waiting game. Then they'd kill him. Told you what? Told me who you really are. You Don't know why we're playing our hand here. You mutilated those Yakuza. And Shintani's all you too. I'm on to you. Well, that's a good story. But there's only detective here. Let's start with the cabaret and what you were doing there. I know that you're the mole. I'm the one asking the questions around here, so... You aren't denying it. Why don't you start by telling me what you were doing when you first noticed the fire? Hamura getting away is what's gonna bring you down for good. You really missed your big chance. And can you tell me who started the fire, at least? Matsukane-san is dead because of you. So the moment I get out, your ass is mine! <laughs> Let's see you try! I don't think you realize. 89 gives me complete immunity. I'm talking about people that go all the way up the chain here. Wow, okay. Everything. When it comes to 89's interests, there's no limit to what they'll do. Hamura is a loose end that I'll take care of eventually. Yeah, that's what I said. Easy. And that's a fate you'll both share. This won't end with you alive. I don't mind that. All that matters is proving that you murdered them. <laughs> if you think you scare me, sorry. You has been fraud. Karoiwa-san? There's a call for you. Just one second. Should I take over? Nah. I'm through here. The fire at the cabaret. Tojo clan and Kyore clan Yakuza are both responsible for starting it. Luckily, Yagami-san just happened to be nearby and saw the whole thing. This case is closed. Thank you for your time. I'll escort you out then, Yagami-san. Huh? He had me in custody and he didn't kill me. That's interesting. But now I'm on the street, he's free to do whatever. And if he really ain't, if he's it shows confident he is, because he said, um, they go, oh, it goes all the way over the top, I have immunity, I'm fine. They do whatever it takes, so he'd kill me. He put me back out in the street, wait for me at my place, kill me in my sleep, it doesn't matter. He's got he he's that confident he can do it and just say someone broke in and killed me. Oh well. That's that's uh I can't believe it's him. 
I couldn't place the name because we see him here and there. But uh, I kind of like the fact that he was eluded throughout the entire story. Like, you didn't really see too much of him or, like, his character. But, um, like I said, I couldn't place the name. I hear every other name and I'm, I'm English. I don't know all these Japanese names. I'm not very good with names in general. Trust me on that. And you see me mispronounce them and all the rest of it, right? And my memory's quite bad. I'm sure over the course of X, Y, Z amount of time that you've been watching this playthrough, you've got names as well. So, you know what I mean? It is what it is. So I couldn't place him. Yeah. Um... Man, so they want us to go to sleep. I'm exhausted and I want to crash. Okay, I can't pause it. Hold on. Now info's been added in case the murder updated. So now we've got to look out for the killer because we know who he is now. We can do dates and stuff and blah, blah, blah. Amani, what's she got to say? Now I'm kind of pissy at her after what she did. Okay, so if there are any side content that's opened up. Yes, we've got a bunch of side content we can do. Or at least one over here anyway. We can check that out. And we will. Uh, that's near Theatre Square. We don't know what it is yet. As of yet. Um, guys, I may... I'm just going to save it here for now. They want us to sleep. But uh, I'm probably going to do a couple of things before I even do that. At this point. We have 1,700. Call it 11,000. Uh, 18 is to boost my attack max. Which I kind of want to do. Um, wait, what? Skill is locked. Skill. Okay, whatever. Speed. Okay. Um, it is what it is. Okay, so I might check the timing of this video because I know it's half an hour in and it's been a big story part. We found out a lot. We finally found out who the mole was. Um, so give me a second. And I'm in the second, in the next video, because uh, we've done a lot of story and we've, found, we've come to a conclusion now, a big part. More side contents opened up. So in the next video, I'll probably do side content. Check out Marnie, what her excuses were for turning me down or saying I was a friend in the previous video, which pissed me off. Um, or the past two videos rather um, to go and work with a special client who's a Yakuza uh, we'll see where that leads uh, in the end alright guys give me one second <coughs> One one's about 30 minutes, I'm going to say this is about 53 minutes overall, but we found a good chunk of the story, we had some fighting in it, it's been pretty good thus far, I really am enjoying it, I'm surprised we were like in theory the last chapter, uh, well yeah the last chapter in theory, and, uh, but we've got to do that side content, that's what I want to get cracking with next, and uh, yeah, been, it's been a good video, uh, past two videos have been pretty decent actually, alright guys, I'll see you in the next one, thanks so much for watching.